Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ridge asks Eric at Forrester why he is starting a collection now that the season is over. He ought to go on an excursion or resign. Brooke calls attention to the splendid side, is that he's utilizing their child to assist for this fabulous final. Edge is happy of this, he maintains that him should be important for the inheritance. Brooke prods Edge about how not unpretentious he's been driving RJ that way off the years. Edge maintains that his kid should work with him at the organization. I think that's what he's doing. But with your father, Brooke ponders. Edge concludes that is all right. What better individual to gain from? However, he doesn't have to do another line. He needs to figure out how to stop this excellent final his dad has as a top priority. Brooke questions how Edge will persuade his father to avoid the assortment. Edge doesn't have the foggiest idea, however he needs to make it happen. He'll do it with adoration and graciousness. According to Brooke, the difficult part is that his son is now involved. Edge will make sense of for RJ that this isn't great for his granddad. Brooke wonders again at RJ planning. This could be the pristine start of an extremely thrilling part in RJ's life. Edge concurs, he simply needs to break through to his father. Eric tells RJ that he's a natural at the Forrester mansion. He is overjoyed that he has given him the impetus to write this concluding line. Luna watches and grins. The intern is thanked by Eric for her warm welcome. RJ is left to converse with Luna, while Donna and he both leave. She lets him know his plan is fire. RJ shrugs that he's simply outlining his granddad's thoughts. She lets him know it was sweet to watch him working with his granddad. They visit some more about her going to design school. He hears from Luna that interning at Forrester is the pinnacle of behind the scenes. RJ talks about how fortunate he was to have all of this as a child. Luna muses, but then, no doubt about it. RG cautions she just met them. He chooses to figure out what she follows him on and finds her profile is private. She looks somewhat troubled. He muses that she's strange. Thomas makes notes and works on a sketch in the Forrester Design Office. He admires see a photograph of Trust and Brooke and kiss Trust in the workplace. Abruptly, she comes in. She has an outfit she needs to take a stab at and get his considerations. Thomas grins. He inquires as to whether it's plan number five, and she muses, how about you find out? She hands up the sack containing the outfit, thinks, and afterward asks herself, gracious, what's going on with I? With that, she strolls over and locks the entryway prior to turning and giving Thomas a provocative grin. She then starts to strip for him. Thomas takes her in as she remains before him in dark unmentionables. Then Trust has the outfit on, and Thomas makes changes at the abdomen and back. Trust revels in his touch. She takes his fingers and snaps them before the two beginning kissing enthusiastically. Stopping, Thomas mumbles that he generally appreciated fittings, however this. Trust says it's extremely past due. When his hands were on her body, she had always wondered if he could feel her heart beating quickly, but now she doesn't have to hide it. They continue to kiss. In the fundamental office, RJ carefully guides a worker named Ginge, who contemplates whether he will be online again soon. He hasn't posted in more than a week. RJ consoles the fellow and he leaves. Brooke tells her child she prefers seeing him working there. RG surmises that his dad knows he's planning with Eric. Brooke recommends he converse with him. RG asks where he is. Brooke says he went to converse with his granddad. He simply stressed over Eric. In the Forrester lounge room, Eric respects a sketch with satisfaction. Edge strolls in and says, Thus, I comprehend you coming after me. He takes in the examples and outlines and inquires, May I? Eric advises him to go for it. Edge investigates and wonders about Eric getting RG to get a pencil. This is astonishing. Eric concurs. You can't instruct that. Edge thanks his dad for showing his child. Eric says that is not who's happening there. That's what Edge knows. He recommends they take a portion of those plans and put them in his assortment. Eric's not intrigued. This is my line, Edge. Not yours. 
This is my terrific final. In the plan office, Winded, trust inquires as to whether he's certain he's good with this. Could you at any point deal with it? Thomas gestures yes, and she rips shirt off as they continue the energetic kissing. Brooke and RG argue about whether Eric needs to set up a collection in the main office. She trusts RJ's introduction to configuration doesn't come to the detriment of his dad's relationship with Eric. At the Forrester house, Edge proposes that they get Thomas and each of them four can team up. Eric shies away. For your assortment? Not going to occur. He requires this. He really wants the spotlight and the pressure, very much like it was in the first place. Edge contends he's as of now shown what him can do. Eric requires one more lovely line. He attempted to let him know that, yet he excused him. It was Edge's disposition that persuaded him that he expected to do this without him. You won't work me out of this. Edge wishes his mother was there to see the man she adored such a lot of loaded with enthusiasm and want. You know what, fine, do it. You do your assortment, I'll do mine. We'll allow the purchases to choose. We'll settle it on the runway. Deal. Eric answers, arrangement. They shake on it. Trust Logan, Annika Noel, appears as though she is entering her autonomy time in which she doesn't take orders from Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, or her mom Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, any longer. She is successful, single, and has finally discovered good sex with Matthew Atkinson, Thomas Forrester, which she does not want to give up. Once more, she advises Thomas that she needs to have a no-hidden-obligations relationship for the time being, and that implies she has a few limits. Yet that doesn't hold her back from needing to have intercourse in the plan office. They end up on the couch among the gowns, but they're in for a big surprise because Brooke is always busy and gets involved in everyone's lives. Will Hope once more stand up for herself, or will she let her mother get back in her head? B and B. Carter Walton has words with Edge. Edge Forrester, Thorsten K underscore has spent the week stressed that his dad Eric Forrester, John McCook, could upstage him in the plan world. All things considered, they are having a challenge, and Eric demands this last design line will be his best one yet, even though RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, has no design experience, he has him assist him. This is the one section that satisfies Edge on the grounds that RG will at last have something to do with his life other than stress over his sister's affection lives. Rich, however, doesn't get it. He can't comprehend the reason why Eric can't partake in his retirement and leave the star stuff to the future. Because of Katie Logan, Heather Tom, Carter Walton, Lauren's holy person Victor, comprehends and attempts to clarify things for Edge. All the Logan sisters are Eric's alley in this, including Brooke, so Edge better become accustomed to things. He could need to acknowledge that Eric may be working at SC again consistently, except if they realize there is something different amiss with Eric. Remain tuned to the intense and the delightful work days to perceive how these accounts work out. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.